Hey buddies, quick check-in. Just wanted to clock in for a few minutes and just chat about something that, I don't know if it's concerning y'all, but it's definitely concerning me. The fact that it's not being fully acknowledged, that's kind of being whispered in the streets, but we got a recession coming. Actually, I'm pretty sure we're in a recession, but it's gonna, potentially and most likely progressively get worse. And I've definitely felt it. I've definitely recognized it and realized it because of the industry I'm in being in tech and seeing how a lot of these jobs have recently laid off so many people. As a contractor, it's been difficult for me to find another contract. I kind of was banking on the fact that it, was going to be easy for me to hop from one to the next. And it was um, until the beginning of this year. And so I just wanted to kind of relay to you guys the importance of finding ways to be recession proof. Because I think during the lockdown, a lot of people realized that these jobs don't really have your best interest at heart. And that at any given moment, you are replaceable, you are expendable. <clears throat> and where does that leave you? At the end of the day, you still have to pay your bills. You still have your financial responsibilities and finding ways to be financially independent, I think is such a huge underrated opportunity for me. It definitely has been an investment. So that's a huge thing that I got into. Um, honestly, before the pandemic, but when the lockdown was initiated, I started investing a lot more um, and finding other investments besides stocks, such as real estate investments. I have um, an online real estate portfolio that gives me dividends every so often. They're really, really minor dividends. It's not enough to sustain me, unfortunately, but it still does feel good to see, you know, the accumulation, especially with me not having um, a contract uh, to look forward to. I am in the process of interviewing. I know a few videos ago, I was talking about leaving the, well, contemplating leaving corporate America. And in a sense I have <laughs> because I haven't been with corporate America for the past few months, <clears throat> but with the way um, my industry is going and seeing how other people are vocalizing through social media about trying to find jobs and how quickly um, rejection letters are being sent out as soon as people apply for entry level positions, executive positions, in uh, customer service fields and tech fields as well. I feel like it's a huge thing that a lot of people are experiencing. So I definitely recommend making sure you find alternative ways to have income, to make sure that you're able to still sustain yourself and not just rely on you know, your employer to keep you financially illiterate. And with that, I wish you guys all success. And I hope that everybody is able to keep their mental fortitude up during this kind of hard times. You know, I also feel like because of the lockdown, one of the reasons why the recession is kind of being swept under the rug is because during the lockdown, everybody was going kind of stir crazy, suffering from cabin fever, itching to get out. And so that's why you see so many people traveling, spending money, going to concerts, wanting to see Beyonce and uh, going to Essence Festival because despite 
the inflation, people have just been ready to get out and just have some sense of normalcy and fun again. <clears throat> so it's definitely creating this kind of convoluted, it's kind of giving this convoluted appearance as if we're not going through a recession, but we definitely are. But I definitely think that it's okay for people to be enjoying themselves, especially during this time. I understand it. Um, but I also think that we all need to make sure that we are prioritizing our our needs and our necessities, our financial needs and necessities during this time and make sure that we still enjoy ourselves, find, you know, economically sound ways to feel free and feel like we can be social and normal. And also in the same token, make sure that we're not overextending ourselves and getting into further debt because a lot of people may not be aware of how this recession is progressing. But that's pretty much it, you guys. And I hope again that you guys are aware already and you guys are already taking the precaution to just keep yourselves financially afloat. And again, multiple streams of income has been a huge motto for me over the past few years. And I hope that you guys are able to find ways to, di to divest and invest. So that way, if things get worse, you'll still be good. All right. Enjoy your weekend. You guys have a great day.